Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the floor. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, the Nightmare. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy, will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he landed the right hand there. Big kick lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Over and over, he landed with a big body kick. Nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Big 
Paul for punch lands. Now we get back to Randy. There's no give on that leg kick. Shot to the body here, blocked by Lee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, big punch lands. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Midway through round one. Oh, big hook. That'll spin. Just misses there with the left. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Pretty good right hand. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eights. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Lips. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at him work his at trying to shut the liver down. And both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, single collar tie here. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, that big knee, knee there. That knee hurt him. So 130 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice kick. Round two is next. from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Strong defense there to block the shot. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm really. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. 
I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, good kicks. Lee's got the tie clinch now. Way to hide that leg kick. Switching stances here. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Outstanding knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow it up. Certainly using his length well in this one tonight. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just over three minutes to go. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Back to the jab now, no good. here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice loop and punch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice punch by Lee. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Looking to land the right just out of range. Nice straight punch. They continue to exchange. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Beautiful leg kick throw. He blocks the punch. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let us now get to some replays from that previous round. Big part of the narrative, of course, those devastating kicks to the body. Yeah, he's in the right stance to throw that kick to the body. And you see now his opponent starting to carry his hands really low. Look for him to go over the top now that he's got, a, he's got him set up the way he wants to. All 
right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down the strike that was really damaging his opponent. Just misses with the straight left hand. Whiffs on the right hand. Lee's kick, that one blocked. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Wow. So a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Ooh, big shot, man. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Is there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And he caught the kick. Real sneaky body kick. Good stick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just misses with the left hook. The next with the right. Lee gets caught with that punch. Check the high kick. Nice head kick. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Such a fast leg kick. Stop. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Good that time. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Relax, relax. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh! Mixing it all up. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's Just go. over three minutes to go now. Some nice back and forth action here. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. He's just trying to throw those kicks even though he's not in the best position to throw them. But that makes him tricky. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again, the guy will have a very tough time. Oh! to take their effect. Lee's kick is blocked. Oh, that straight punch is gonna be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's gonna avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Kick attempt, head movement prevents it from landing. Now connects with the right. Nice leg kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Big punch lands. Five seconds remain in the round. Off 
defensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, you're coming the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Unable to connect with the ref. See if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Got clip with the right hand. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. How good is that right hand? Hands up. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Big and kick. Don't back up. Push forward. Nice shot to the body there. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Big body kick. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Big kick. Back and forth we go. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And now he's got that tight clinch. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. You got to check these low leg kicks. Just out of range with that right hook. Great punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he used this punch to get to the target. Oh! One minute 
minute to go in the fight. Look at the turn in that kick. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Unable to connect with a right hook. That shot blocked by Lee. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. Twenty seconds to go. Nice kick. Straight left hand. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. What a fight. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was 